Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the case of the Astroworld human stampede disaster? At the time making this video, the investigation into this incident is underway. More information will be available in the future. This video is based on the limited information available at this time. Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing anybody in this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I will put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. So first I'll look at the background of this case, then I'll move to my analysis. Jock Berman Webster II was born in Houston, Texas on April 30, 1991. He is a singer, rapper, and record producer who goes by the stage name Travis Scott. He has had a good deal of success, releasing four albums in total. His third album, which was released in 2018, was titled Astro World and is by far his most popular. Travis has run into some problems with the law at his various performances. In August of 2015, at Lollapalooza in Chicago, he allegedly incited concertgoers to climb over barricades and led a chant of, We Want Rage. He was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. He pleaded guilty to reckless conduct and was ordered to court supervision. In 2017, when performing near Fayetteville, Arkansas, Travis allegedly encouraged fans to join him on stage while he was performing. He pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct in connection with this incident. Travis had another incident in 2017 at a concert in New York City. He allegedly encouraged fans to jump off of a balcony. One man fell or was pushed off of the balcony. He would later sue Travis Scott, alleging that the crowd pushed him off of the balcony and Travis urged people to jump. In 2018, Travis launched an annual festival in Houston called Astroworld named after his most successful album. Travis Scott and several other artists performed at the festival. In 2019, three people were injured in a stampede at the festival. The event was canceled for 2020 because of COVID. This takes us to November 5, 2021. Travis Scott was performing in another Astroworld Festival, which was held in the NRG Park in Houston, Texas. Unlike the other festivals, this one was supposed to take place over two days, November 5 and November 6. The venue was capable of accommodating 200,000 people, but the festival only had about 50,000 attendees. As for security at the festival, there were 528 police officers and 755 security guards, so roughly one police officer or security guard for every 39 attendees. The mayor of Houston said that there was more security at that festival than there had been at the 2021 World Series. Before the festival started, hundreds of fans charged the perimeter of the festival trying to get in. They knocked over metal detectors and one person was injured. Later, around 9.15 p.m., Travis Scott appeared on stage to begin his performance. The crowd reacted by surging toward the stage, which caused many people to be compressed with tremendous force. They were being crushed by the crowd. Some people fell to the ground and were being trampled. As the injuries started to pile up, people started to panic. Some concert attendees were recorded dancing on an ambulance. Others lifted up unconscious people and surfed them over the top of the crowd, hoping they would receive medical attention. People cried for help with CPR and demanded the concert stop. One attendee was recorded telling a camera operator, quote, people are dying, unquote. He was told by another attendee the crowd would take care of it. One 23-year-old attendee said that people were grabbing and pinching him as they tried to get off the ground. He was fighting for his life. As all this was happening, Travis Scott and some of his crew noticed that some of the attendees were in distress near the stage and were aware that an ambulance entered the crowd at 9.30 p.m. The performance paused a few different times, but the show kept resuming. As the number of injuries dramatically increased, medical personnel were overwhelmed. Paramedics were performing CPR on attendees. Several people were given Narcan, which is used to prevent overdose from opioids. There have been reports that an individual in the crowd used a syringe to inject a number of people with an unknown substance. One security guard felt pain in his neck, like he was being injected, as he was restraining a concertgoer. He was revived using Narcan, 
suggesting that he was injected with opioids. Officials declared a mass casualty event at 9.38 p.m. The promoters of the festival agreed to end it early, but Travis continued to perform until 10.10 p.m. At least eight people were killed in this tragedy. The youngest was 14, the oldest 27. Over 300 people were treated for injuries. Now moving to my analysis. Stampede situations have occurred from time to time with devastating effects. Between the years 1980 and 2007, 215 human stampedes took place worldwide. They resulted in over 7,000 deaths and 14,000 injuries. The cause of death for people trapped in stampedes is often compression asphyxia. This is a type of mechanical asphyxia where respiration is prevented by external pressure on the body. Why do human stampedes like this occur? There are many factors that lead to these events, including the way people think, feel, and behave in crowds, and the physics of being in an overly dense crowd. It all starts with crowd density. Crowds start to become dangerous when the crowd density reaches four people per square meter. At this density, waves start to form as people push against one another. The waves go back and forth. This is called crowd turbulence or crowd quake. Making things worse, people can start to panic. For example, there could be a situation where people are trying to escape a building that's on fire, and they push and shove each other and step on people who have fallen. Research tells us that pushing and shoving in crowded places does not increase the speed at which people can enter or exit. For example, studies have demonstrated that if a lot of people are trying to cram through narrow doors on a bus or a train, the number of people that are actually getting through the door does not increase proportionally with the amount of force being applied to them. Panic leads to death. Staying calm facilitates safer and faster entry into or exit from any particular structure or vehicle. One common precipitant to stampede situations, in addition to dangerously high crowd density, is when a crowd is moving in a certain direction and people in the front run into some type of barrier or restriction. People behind them push, people behind those people push, everyone's pushing and the pressure on people becomes lethal. In the Astroworld disaster, that doesn't quite capture what happened. There was no expectation that the crowd was to move in the direction of Travis Scott. That's not normally what happens at a concert. People don't go up onto the stage and get close to the performer. Rather, they choose a place to stand, and they stay there. The case appeared to occur because of irrational, sadistic, and excitement-seeking behavior. The people who were pushing the crowd toward the stage had no authority or reason to take that action. They were choosing to do something dangerous. Once the pressure started to build, panic set in, and more people started pushing harder. So a relatively small number of self-centered people were partially responsible for this disaster. In addition to this bad behavior, several of the concert goers were non-compliant with the authorities, making it difficult for medical personnel to reach those who were injured. As far as Travis Scott being assigned any responsibility, it is believed that Travis had taken chances in the past, for example, those disorderly conduct situations. He had a reputation of being reckless and encouraging concert goers to behave in ways which were not congruent with safety. During the stampede, he said, I want to see some rages. Who wants to rage? Later, as an ambulance drove into the crowd, he said the words, whoa, 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 in a less than articulate way to calm people down. Considering all the factors involved in human stampedes, it seems clear that multiple mistakes were made in the management of the crowd at the Astro World concert. There were probably too many people in a small area, even though the venue was well under capacity. Many in the crowd seemed eager to be involved in antisocial activity. They may have been encouraged by Travis Scott's behavior at that concert and during past performances. And the concert was not stopped immediately once people started getting injured and killed. At the time making this video, a criminal investigation has been launched into the Astro World Festival incident. We'll have to see what's uncovered, but it is reasonable to believe criminal actions were involved in some way in this tragedy. As far as civil liability, there has already been one lawsuit filed against Travis Scott. 
that same lawsuit named the performer Drake as well. I imagine there will be many more lawsuits to follow. What lessons can we learn in this case? I have two here. First lesson, once a person is in the middle of this type of stampede, escape is often not possible. The key to survival is to not enter a dense crowd in the first place. Therefore, it's really about situational awareness. In addition, it is a good idea to avoid crowds comprising an inordinately high number of people who are immature, impulsive, irresponsible, and looking for trouble. Second lesson, one of the criticisms of Travis Scott as a performer is that he does not have a lot of creativity in the area of lyrics, and he is repetitive. Perhaps there is some parallel to what he yells on stage, like his comments about rage. It would appear that Travis needs to refine his message, both in his music and in his encouragement to his audience. I suppose Travis has taught the world one valuable lesson. If an entertainer repeatedly engages in risky behavior and makes unwise decisions, sometimes it is their audience who pays the price. Those are my thoughts on the case of the Astro World Human Stampede. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comment section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be informative. Thanks for watching.